Hey guys, how's it going? It's Invicta TV here, and I wanted to do this video um, kind of talking about the idea uh, of fight or flight. Um, in Destiny 2, oh, at the to way that times to kill work and the way gunfights work is you really don't want to be challenging a fight that you're going into already weak, or if your opponent gets first shot, or if you start getting hit from the side or the back, you can't just turn on your opponent and hope for the best. And that really applies to a lot of video games um, that have extended times to kill, like Destiny, like Halo. Unlike COD, COD is a little bit uh, easier sometimes to just turn on an opponent and immediately kill because the kill times are so fast. Um, I am using this man uh, Mananan, I don't know how to say the name, uh, and the Judgment, really pretty piss poor combo. Um, the, the Mananan isn't too great, but that's not what the video is about. So moving forward, uh, testing out these weapons, I get into some situations where uh, deciding whether to fight or flight, uh, which I know isn't really the, the exact use of that uh, expression, uh, really comes into play here in Destiny 2, and there's often times where you'll see me begin to uh, run from opponents and just focus on escaping, and I end up going 16.0, maybe 16 and 1. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's 16 or 16 and 1. Um, specifically not because I had great aim or I was making good gunplay choices because I really wasn't. Uh, like look at this here, like I'm already a little bit weaker, I'm now one shot, like I've got to get out. There's no point in continuing to challenge that. Um, that's a situation, especially when working with a team, that's a situation where you back off the fight, do not let your ego get to you, do not think you can continue to win that fight, get out, you're going to lose it. Um, and that's a problem that even Sweats were having back in the Destiny 2 beta, just getting used to these newer, uh, like, it's way more heavily focused a requirement to escape in Destiny 2 than it was in Destiny 1. You cannot just win a gunfight uh, by the difference of a bullet in this. The difference in a, of a bullet in Destiny 2 is so much larger uh, on the time to kill factor. So, you know, um, if you ever find yourself getting weak, if you ever find yourself, you know, at a disadvantage in the gunfight, uh, recognize that even mid-fighting, like right here, two people in front of me, obviously I shouldn't be challenged this, challenging this, gotta get out, get out as fast as can be. Now I'm gonna throw a nade on them, because I've recovered my health, and all that good stuff. Uh, my teammate, <laughs> teammates get the assist, but they both were weak, they got distracted in time, it, it gave my teammates time to assist me. It allowed me to recover and get an advantageous situation on them if they both pushed, both pushed me together. Um, they both would have been weak to my nade, and I probably could have at least traded out with two people versus um, just dying and getting no kills. Um, and it's just because I'm picking my battles. Now, you know, a lot of people can say ultimately that this is a pretty frustrating playstyle or that it's lame. Like, oh, you know, your opponents just run from you and stuff like that. But ultimately, like, this has always been part of the core Destiny experience, it's just so much more emphasized now. Uh, it's it's called strategy, it's a skill. It may not be a fun strategy or a fun skill for you, but deciding mid-gunfight when or, or before gunfights, like when to continue the fight or when to get pull out, is definitely um, part of the strategy, is definitely a very large skill. in all ranges of gameplay, whether it's, you know, you're the newbiest of noobs or the sweatiest of sweats. You do not just stay in the gunfight because my shot is better. And that's something that, you know, a lot of people really need to start learning. I'm sure several people have started learning this, especially a couple weeks in now uh, to the game, but it's something that some people might just need to hear to, to really, like, start reinforcing it in themselves and ingraining it in themselves. Um, once more, I have not had the best shot this game. I simply have been uh, trying to control my movement, trying to make the wise decisions, whether that be so that I can get the upper hand back or and reset my own life total, or uh, to give time for a teammate to come into me. So here we go, staying away from this guy. I should not be challenging this guy. Gives my time, or teammate time to come in with a hand cannon. There we go, I remember that death. That was, that was frustrating. They spawned on all sides of us. Um, but yeah, especially with every game of be in Destiny 2 being team oriented, uh, you never know 100% uh, of the times that your teammates can come in and assist you on that sort of situation. So uh, that was a moment where you know I, I was just playing to stay alive for myself. Ends up being that my uh, teammate was nearby, able to pop a hammer, 
and gets the kill himself. Like, I don't have to put in the assist. I don't have to challenge the fight. I don't need to let my ego get ahead of me there. And then, therefore, we can come out uh, significantly more victorious um, over our opponents than, than uh, not. Obviously, I took way fewer deaths than I needed to or, or than I could have if I had continued to challenge nearly every fight that um, came my way. So hopefully you guys, uh, obviously this isn't the the hardest mechanic to understand. This isn't the newest mechanic. Um, and it's something that is relatively fairly obvious, right? But it's something that I hope just the mere mention of it, I hope the discussion of it uh, really helps some of you players out there. I know that I have, you know, uh, as few people as I have watching me, I know I have a, a wide range of player skills uh, that do enjoy my content. Um, so... No, no matter who you are, just try to uh, take it how you will and and apply it more heavily to your own gameplay, uh, regardless of what skill level you are. We all need to start doing this a bit more. There's not a single person out there in Destiny 2 right now that has this perfectly mastered. Because um, it's not something that you just master once. It's something you have to always uh, go back to and always think about consciously. Um, while you're playing until it happens subconsciously more often and makes you a better player overall. And that's really uh, a lot of the topics that are discussed on this channel is how they work. You have to consciously think about them until they become more second nature. And I have some uh, discussion, or I have some topics I want to talk about. Uh, I made a Reddit post that a lot of people loved about reinforcement and confidence uh, in your gameplay and how that helps. And I have a I definitely want to make a great video on that, um, but I also want to start doing a lot of specific weapon reviews, like that Mananan. Uh, that's one that doesn't seem to have any popularity, I've not seen it even used, um, and it's a, like a fast-firing scout archetype with explosive rounds, similar to what we had in Destiny 1. Um, but it, you know, weapons like that, weapons like the Antiope, uh, all kinds of crazy weapons. With set weapon rolls, it's really nice to make reviews and tell you where they fit in the meta and how you can use them. And there's actually so many different weapons in this game uh, because, and this is how I expected it, with the removal of weapon rolls, they just created tons of similar um, archetype weapons and gave them different names with different perks, basically becoming your uh, weapon rolls or various weapon rolls uh, just in the with a skin change and a name change. Um, so yeah. I want to be able to do that as well, and hopefully that'll be coming soon. Tomorrow does start that start back up trials. I will not be posting a trials video tomorrow, but I think what I want to do is post a video um, with what is it called the uh, weapon breakdown sheet uh, with all the times to kill of the meta and kind of go over what you might want to be using this weekend. Um, maybe dependent on the map that's out though, we'll have to see. Uh, I think I might be able to look up on Bungie what the upcoming map is, and I will try to give the details and tell you how the map works and which weapon types you uh, might be benefited most from uh, during this weekend of trials uh, and try to get that posted before trials comes out just so that everyone is prepared who uh, stops by the channel. So without further ado guys, this has been Invicted TV. I know I've run a bit over time and I'm out. Bye. Hey guys, I wanted to take the time to say that I finally got my subscribe button over on twitch.tv slash Invicta underscore TV. If you're interested, you can subscribe for $5 a month or for free with Twitch Prime. This gives you a one-way ticket to hop into games with me, be it Destiny or otherwise, as well as gets you into sub-only raffles or extra chances on all raffles for events like Trials. Thank you to everybody who takes the extra miles, and I appreciate every single one of you. I hope to see you in stream, Guardians.